What's going on guys? Welcome back to another After Effects tutorial. Tutorial? We're doing tutorials now, not tutorials. You know, there's a D instead of a T. What's wrong with me? Just a real quick pro tip for you guys. The physical object that you're pulling away from your camera that is going to have the last frame from your previous scene on, you want it to have some texture, some text, or something that After Effects can hold on to so that you can track your scene better. Without any further ado, let's get into After Effects and learn how to do it. Really quickly before this tutorial starts, I don't mean to plug too much, but if you go over to my Instagram page at cpross7, if you have any tutorial requests, send me a DM. I respond to every single DM, and I'm trying to get to every single tutorial that people ask me over there. So you just saw what we're going to be creating today. This is from Amir Zachary's new project that I'm helping him out with. We're in the Terra Fields, Charlie is here, and then all of a sudden it freezes, and I pull the postcard off. Let's get right into it. I'm just going to delete these clips here. Oh, delete these. Yeah, there we go. I'm going to start by dragging my clip to the new composition icon right here. This is going to create a composition with all the attributes that my original footage had. Another pro tip, when you're filming this, you want your object to completely cover up the frame right before you pull it away. This might require a few takes. This is the last frame that my scorecard is completely covering my frame of view. So I'm gonna hit B on my keyboard. I'm just gonna go for it as much as I need and then hit N on my keyboard and then right click in this gray area and trim your composition to your work area just so it's a lot nicer and neater. Before I drag in the footage that is going to overlay on top of this and make it look like a postcard, I have to do some motion tracking. So whatever I put on this frame is gonna make it look like it's attached to the scorecard and make it look like it's actually a part of the environment. To do this, I'm gonna use something that comes along with After Effects and it's called Mocha. I've had some recent troubles with it. Um, go up to animation and click track in Mocha AE. And this is gonna open a separate program that comes with After Effects. For whatever reason, I've been having trouble with the replacement process with Mocha. So I'm just gonna go in After Effects here for my composition and then hit Control M and go in here where it says lossless and click JPEG sequence. We're gonna hit format options and scroll it down to maybe like eight and then click OK. Click OK, click right here and navigate to where you want to save the file and name this postcard effect and then I'm gonna hit render. This is gonna convert your file into an image sequence so it's easier for Mocha to read it slash read it at all. So once that's done, open Mocha back up. Right here where it says import clip, click choose. Navigate to your spot. Um, so right here you can see the image sequence. Just click on the first image and hit open. This is automatically gonna import the entire sequence and hit okay. What Mocha is, is Mocha is a planar tracker. It tracks surfaces, so it makes it perfect for something like this. This might require a little tweaking on your part, but all I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna hit the create X spline layer tool here you want to find part of your clip that has some sort of texture something that the tracker can you know track onto so I'm gonna click a point right here on the a to the s to this corner to there and then boom finish it up there and then right click to finish the spline mocha is a really great tracker so all I'm gonna do here is click track forwards once this is done, all you have to do is go down here and click export tracking data and make sure that After Effects transform data, position scale, rotation is selected from this drop down and click copy to clipboard. Then go back into After Effects in your composition, click layer new null object or you can click control alt shift y pretty long command and then make sure you're on your first frame of your sequence select your null and hit control v and this is going to paste all that information onto your null object so now if we play through our scene you can see if the null object is selected it's moving and it looks like it's attached to the scorecard and this is exactly what you want i'm going to go up to composition composition settings and i'm going to extend the duration right here 10 seconds and then i'm gonna hit okay i'm gonna highlight both of our layers and scoot them to the end of our composition position. Now I'm going to drag in the clip that I want to be on our postcard and I'm just going to drag it on top here and then scale it up so that matches our composition. I'm going to drag through here and see what point we want. This is from the upcoming POV edit on Amir Zachary's Instagram. So I'm going to hit alt left bracket with the clip selected. This is going to trim it up and then decide what frame I want to freeze on. Let's freeze right there and then I'm going to alt right bracket. That's going to trim it up so that the frame that your current playhead is on, that is the last frame. Right click that click time and click freeze on last frame. This essentially is gonna play your clip at real speed and then just freeze right at the point you selected. I'm gonna drag that point when it freezes to the first frame of this null object. If you hold shift on your keyboard, another pro tip, it will snap to wherever your playhead is. And I'm gonna go back to the first frame, hit B, right click the gray area again, trim comp to work area. This is very important. Go to the first frame where your picture freezes. I'm gonna parent our GoPro layer to the null. If we play this through, now you can see um, we're playing the footage, we have the shot of Charlie dancing in the Terra Fields, and then it starts to track to the null object and be pulled off the frame. 
um, and I'm just gonna extend it because that's freeze frame. You can extend it however long you need. So that is the basis of the effect, but I'm gonna give you a couple more tips to polish it off. I'm gonna go to the first frame of the null object and make sure that your freeze frame clip is selected. Go up here to the ellipse tool, whatever shape you have, and hold down and click the rectangle tool. Then you just wanna double click that, and that's gonna create a mask on the border of your footage. Double click M with your footage selected, hit a keyframe for the mask feather and the mask expansion. So go forward two frames and set the mask expansion to somewhere around negative 25 and then the feather to maybe like 15 or something like that. This is gonna feather it out and make it look like there's a border on your postcard. It looks a lot cleaner like this. It starts out, it's the full size of the frame and because we keyframed that animation, it snaps in nicely to place. We have to rotoscope my thumb over here so it looks like it's on top of what's on the frame. So I'm just gonna duplicate our base footage, hit Control D on your keyboard, drag it up to the top. I'm gonna go to the first frame here, make sure that your top layer is selected and then I'm gonna double click that footage and it's gonna bring you into your layer tab because we're gonna do a little roto brushing so click on this little icon here essentially how roto brush works is it automatically tries to rotoscope your scene and it does well at objects like this like my thumb that's like a very flat outline quick pro tip if you hit control and drag on your mouse this will scale up the brush size so I'm gonna scale it up a little bigger because it was super tiny and I'm gonna draw with green where the thumb is and then it's gonna do its best to automatically kind of give a mask then I'm just gonna go forward every single frame and hope that it tracks my thumb well you can see it already messed up Whatever you want to be masked out, you click green. And then to get rid of areas like this, hit Alt on your keyboard, and you'll see that the brush turns red, and then just click on that white area, and it'll do its best to re-propagate. And then just hit Page Down on your keyboard and keep going through frame by frame. I'm gonna fast forward through this process because you don't want to see the whole thing. Just, just to give you a quick, dirty rundown of roto brushing. So once you have roto brushed all that you need to roto brush, you want to trim your composition down here to the duration that you need masked out. So for example, my rotoscope slash roto brush starts right here. So I'm gonna hit B on my keyboard and it ends on this frame. So I'm gonna trim up the composition there because what we're gonna do is we're gonna convert this roto brush to an actual mask. And this is something that took me a long time to figure out, but roto brush is very CPU and RAM intensive and it takes a lot of processing power to calculate it. So taking a minute to convert this to an actual mask saves you a lot of time and headaches in the future. So with your footage selected, go up to layer and click auto trace. All you have to do here is make sure that work area is selected and make sure that alpha is selected and then hit okay. So once that's finished, go back into your composition and with your layer selected, you can now disable this roto brush. Select your top layer, hit M, and then change the mask to add. And then hit F on your keyboard and feather this mask out, maybe like four or five pixels. Hit T on your keyboard. Um, and change the opacity on the first frames from 0 to 100 and this is going to blend it in a little bit so that it doesn't look like it's coming in from nowhere. If you preview this now, this is the final effect. It plays through with one of your shots, freeze frames, and you pull it off onto a postcard. As always, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, hit with a like button. If you didn't, leave me a dislike and maybe tell me how I can improve my teaching methods in the future. And if you have any additional questions, just comment down below. I respond to every single comment. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace, bye. Peace, peace. Peace, peace.